So what do you do when you don't have the option to jog in world? Um, this might be set up on your on your your um, robot to not be able to jog in world. So if you hit shift cord, you'll see joint joint jogging, jog frame, tool frame, user frame, but world is missing. And if you try to just cursor through on cord, world doesn't show up. So what do you do? And yes, this looks like world right here in the jog frame. So if you needed to, you could just go to jog frame one and it's close. But just in case you wanted to actually record jog and world, let me show you how to do this. Um, first things first, you're gonna have to go to menu and go to your and go to system and you're gonna have to pull up your variables. Okay. And you're gonna have to look for a variable entitled SCRGRP. So look for this variable right here. It may not match this number depending on what you have, but look for the, the variable SCR underscore GRP. It's basically look for the robot group. And once you find it, hit, go to detail and it's gonna bring you to a sub menu. And since this is robot number one, hit detail again. Now, when you're messing with robot variables, always be careful because this is the settings for the robot. So you don't wanna do something that will screw something up. But what we're going to look for is the one that looks at, and I think in my case, it's number 23. It's going to be one that is called, um, that could fig. oh no, it's not 23. It's, sorry. But it is the cord mask setup. Okay. Um, and what, what this is, is a binary representation. So let me pull up my draw feature or, um, Notepad. Let me just pull up Notepad. And what this is is in is is in a binary representation. And so bit one will be bit one will be joint. Bit two. And if you forget, if you hit chord here. Whoops. Sorry. Shift chord. Bit one. Bit two bit three, bit four, bit five, which this will be a, you know equal to a one if you think of binary. So zero or one, you know, it basically, you know, this is your ones, one location. Bit two would be, bit two would be your jog frame. Bit four would be world. Bit, well, Let me rephrase. One. Technically it's two. Because remember with binary, it's you know, that's what this is based upon. And so the fourth bit, the is actually eight, and if that you know that representation of that would be your tool frame and uh, tool, and then bit number five would be a uh, bit sixteen or five would be your user, and based on what you decide to put into this number, so this is this is twenty seven. That means that this one is one. One plus um, two plus eight plus sixteen that equals twenty seven. Um, saying that the joint, the job, the tool, and the user is able to be joint to jog. If I go in here and just put a number four in there, so let me hit previous out, and let me just put a number four in there. Enter. You'll see once I hit chord, the only option is world. If it shift chord because that's the only one enabled. So if you want to enable all of them, you need to put a 31 in there because one plus two plus four plus eight plus 36 is 31. And just 31. Enter, now if I hit shift chord, all of them show up. So if you want to tell the operator that they can't do world or if you want to, 
modify the the this is basically what they call the coordinate mask or the jog, you know the jogging mask. That's what you would need to do. So you would need to figure out which ones you want on, find the corresponding bit number, add up that number, and put the integer in. Um, I hope that is helpful.